take part in the fight over expanding Indiana's civil rights law. A coalition of businesses plans to push for statewide protections for the LGBT community. And one prediction tonight, the battle could be even more contentious than what we saw this spring. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live downtown to explain. Katie? Todd, the new coalition is called Indiana Competes, and one of the first businesses to sign on is Silver in the City here on Mass Ave. The organizer for the coalition tells us the purpose is to speak with a unified voice among the business committee about an issue that they believe could affect recruitment and retention of both businesses and employees. It's silver in the city. There is a public show of support for everyone in the windows and on the shelves. I just feel like everybody should always feel welcome everywhere that they're going. Like there is no reason anybody should feel like they aren't welcome here. Silver in the city is part of the soon to be launched Indiana Competes Coalition. The purpose is to push for expanding the state's civil rights laws to prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. We had some guys that were getting married that came in here the other morning and you know they were going to the courthouse had a you know beard dyed blue super excited and, and just to see you know the love that two people can share regardless of who you know you are man or woman man man woman woman it, none of that matters indiana competes spokesman peter hanscom says statewide protections for the lgbt community are critical to economic growth and welfare he says the coalition wants to make its position known prior to the start of session one local political expert points to the timing as a sign of a heated debate on the horizon, one she says could top the controversy of the Religious Freedom Act earlier this year. I think it's going to be huge. Plus, UND's Dr. Laura Merrifield Albright points out 2016 is an election year, not only for the governor, but every member of the House and half of the Senate. It's job security. They need to make sure that they're listening to their constituents and that they're doing what their constituents want in order to be reelected for the following legislative session. I just got off the phone with Pastor Ron Johnson of the Indiana Pastors Alliance. He is on the opposite side, having the opposite opinion of this new group, but he tells me that he has spent this entire summer crisscrossing the state. He says warning people of the debate and discussion that is ahead, and he says that he thinks when you carve out protections for one group, you carve them out for another, in this case, Christian business owners. Reporting live on Mass Ave, Katie Hines, RTV6.